you know sunrises sunsets moons they see other things i post so they you know maybe my and i have a <coughs> My friend Jean Serge Gagnon here, and today we're going to talk about attraction marketing with specifically the top three activities that you need to be doing for attraction marketing to work for you. So we're going to obviously explain what attraction marketing is and what those three activities are. But first, this. So the real question is this. What are the strategies, techniques, and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now? My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. So attraction marketing. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Uh, attraction marketing. What is attraction marketing? What are the activities that you need to be doing? And specifically, what are the top three that will really be important for you to do for attraction marketing to work for you? So we're going to get into that, but I want to remind you, if you're listening to the audio of this, you're going to want to go check out the video at cis488.jsgagnon.com because I'll be sharing my screen and I'll be showing you a little bit more about what this is about. So before, uh, uh, with, yeah, with no further ado, not before, without further ado, let's go to it. Let's share my screen. Let me get that over here. And let's just kind of like do a quick what, um, what is attraction marketing, right? So, whoops, where's my screen? My screen share right over here. All right, so I mean, you can look. I mean, I just did a, a, a Google search there for top tips for attraction marketing, right? And there's like thousands of results right I mean does it even say up here I think it does right 82 million seven hundred thousand results right it's totally insane everybody talks about attraction marketing but the just of it attraction marketing <coughs> is basically uh is basically getting whoops I guess I need to end there is basically getting people to come to you by creating content that they are interested in that's the just of what attraction marketing is it's if we think about just actual marketing like you know advertising uh, tv commercials you know or or youtube now you know the uh, uh, ads and whatever they're all the same it's all about getting people to see what you're about <clears throat> but also it has to be something they're interested in like i mean if i'm on youtube and i'm watching a video about something that i'm interested in and all of a sudden there's this ad that has nothing to do with anything I care about just like say for example I have an ad because of um because I'm a man there's an ad about something maybe some men would want right but I'm not interested in that I it's just there because maybe most men might be interested in I have no idea why they but it's very you know very um unfocused ad right just gender based ad so there's some of those out there sometimes right me i'm into online marketing i'm into attraction marketing i'm into affiliate marketing i'm into social media and those kinds of things so uh real estate you know all these kinds of things get rich you know <laughs> whatever right so i do see a lot of those ads because you know youtube facebook google they all know because it, they base there's all this data about you know the things you click on and the things you search for and things like that right obviously this time of year because i'm searching for maybe other gifts and things for the kids and things for my wife i might see other kinds of ads based on those things that i've actually you know went to their website and i've clicked on things so that's so attraction marketing is basically those companies are using the information they have on me to show me stuff that they think i might be interested in right so that's the basics of attraction marketing so how do you leverage that how do you take advantage of that in social media now as i'm as i'm pointing out right here you can see right there on my screen you need to define your avatar define your offer set up your profile right so those are things that if you don't i mean you 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 know i skipped a lot of that stuff i'm probably not perfect there either it's could be improved 
Um, and I'm actually, because I'm working on uh, a new, well, slightly different offer than what I've been promoting for the last little while, my current setup isn't exactly what I want it to be, but that's that doesn't matter. The point, uh, I mean, it doesn't matter to what you need to do, right? What I'm doing, sure, sure. You might look at it and think, well, he's not that perfect. Well, you know what? We're never perfect. And it's an ongoing um, process to change that stuff, right? But the thing you have to remember, the most important thing that you have to remember is that if, <clears throat> if you don't do these activities these are the activities I'm going to talk about them a little bit more in a second but if you don't do these activities the attraction marketing is not really going to work for you right so why is that important right so how does let's talk about how does attraction marketing work how does it work in your brain like if you think about like I said advertisers right the advertisers that that create ads based on your browsing history based on and you, you know sh of course you could use that uh, process I mean I've done it a few times where I I you know sent well I've done it lots of times I didn't I did ads to some of my new videos and things like that to the people that watch previous videos right that's called retargeting so that's you know that's advertising that's spending money right I'm not talking about spending money I'm talking about attraction marketing the basics of attraction marketing which is not to spend any money on ads it's about creating the right stuff so <clears throat> first of all you got to be posting regularly so you know why do we have to post regularly that's because the brain the human brain needs what are called in sales are called exposures right so how often does somebody see something before they'll take action you know in terms of sales in terms of marketing in terms of of making money in terms of them buying your stuff them signing up to your opportunity them you know uh, um, joining your business then you know all those different things that people do or that we want right from from prospects they'll happen when a person reaches a certain level of trust towards you right so if if you're doing this on social media if you're doing it on Facebook on LinkedIn on Twitter Instagram right if you're doing that on social media you're not going to get any sales until you've gone through this process with them so say we take one prospect right one prospect just a single prospect I'm actually gonna make my my video a bit bigger here because this is a little bit of a different uh episode I want to kind of talk about this more I just want to I just want to be there to explain stuff I, there's not much I mean sure I could show you Google searches I could show you Facebook I mean you you know all that what's important to understand is the 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 mindset the the psychology behind how all this works so why why do you have to post regularly right humans need repetition to uh, to um, change their behaviors right so we we need repetition to change our behaviors we need to see something multiple times before we recognize it our our brains you know even though every single thing that we see comes into our brain and goes into short-term memory it doesn't become long-term memory until multiple revision you know uh, repetitions of that right so that's why you need to post regularly but the thing is that just like obviously you don't want to post the same thing all the time you become boring right and that's why it's important to post there's you know different kinds of posts there's value posts there's educational posts there's uh, promotional posts there's you know uh, life posts there's um uh, anyways a whole bunch of different like there's different types of posts that you can be doing that you need to be doing so that people see that you're not just about one thing right obviously you can't be posting about your product your opportunity all the time or you shouldn't even be posting about that at all right and the thing is that for me like I'm I'm doing this um, episode that I'm doing right now because that's what I've been doing for years I do these episodes course income secrets right I do them because well a couple of reasons first I want my audience to learn different things I want them to feel that they're that that I'm giving them some value right and then it's just like any other business you want to give value before you can uh, make a sale 
um but the thing is that the repetition is what makes people remember so if they hear me talk about different things they're automatically going to start to recognize me for some of the things I talk about now yes uh it's important to be very specific you sh you really should have one offer I I'm not there I I talk about basically the 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 tools and strategies you need to you know to build online presence and all that stuff so that's kind of like a a, a mishmash of stuff so I'm kind of going I kind of do against what I I'm teaching right now but the important point to remember is that you need to be clear about what you're offering because if you're not clear you're going to be like me posting all sorts of stuff about it. I mean I'm I'm clear in the sense that I know that I have a platform I know that I have um tools I know that I have things I'm using I know that I have so all these things that I'm teaching right and when I look at say let's show you here my my Aweber uh subscribers just I don't have a million subscribers but still when you look at this you see that I'm sending out to 400 or so subscribers right this every week and I'm getting almost 30 percent open rate sometimes even more 34 30 32 100 and some people are actually opening my emails and they're not they're not complaining I get you know the the when it says complaints here that's only because somebody unsubscribed or whatever but that's like one right one person right out of the whole week here there was only one and that's not even a week that's probably more than a week ago it's a couple of months ago because this is once a week but that's you know why are people like this is actually when you and when you talk to any leaders they're going to say this is a really really good open rate anything above 10 or even 15 and 15 anything above 15 percent or even maybe even 10 percent for some niches is good this is almost 30 percent right which is really good and that's what you should be aiming for you should be aiming to get lots of open rates oh you can't even see because my face is in the way let me take my video down and you can kind of see more what I'm talking about here so you see the open rate of each of these 30 30 30 it's been like this for a long time I mean I've been posting obviously the number of people I send to depends because I I reduce the size of my list once in a while I'll I'll get rid of you know dead leads people that aren't aren't opening my stuff anymore that haven't opened them because they're probably receiving them in their spam since then this is this is just how it works this is today's this is today how it works today the uh email providers decide where your email goes based on all sorts of different things right and one of the things they look at they actually have access to some of these metrics and they also can see especially if you're sending lots of gmail people right gmail knows whether somebody opened their emails or not they know that whether people open emails from me so they'll if that person doesn't open emails from me ever they start to put it in the spam there's not much you can do about it you can't control the, what gmail does right same thing with hotmail or outlook or <laughs> those big providers but the point is that if you do a cleanup of those emails that are not ever opening your emails it helps with your open rate right <coughs> so that's kind of one of the things anyways that's beside the point if we go back to the uh to the list here that we're talking about it's like clarifying your offer you gotta know what your offer is for me right now when those emails it's course income secrets it's basically teaching people what they need to do to grow their business online one of the things is attraction marketing talking about attraction marketing what is attraction marketing how do you can you use it and like I said you got to post regularly because human needs repetition to change your behavior and so what happened what and how that works is basically those are called exposures right so with exposures you you become something they see like say for example we're talking about exposures for advertising right so a tv commercial or something every time somebody sees that tv commercial it's called an exposure right so an exposure to the product to the service to the emotion that the ad gives the person you know all that stuff that's an exposure so if they get enough exposures of that ad they'll automatically start to think they need that it's just that's just how the brain works it's crazy right that's what marketing takes advantage of that's what advertising takes advantage of attraction marketing is no different 
in the sense that you still have to get that exposure out there you still have to get people to see your stuff you still have to have people see your face your profile right I mean I mean if I'm on Facebook if I comment on somebody's post there's a big chance they're going to see that I commented on their post and they're going to see my face because you know Facebook shows the little profile next to the comment right and if the person sees that enough they will eventually click the profile to go see what this person's about right they're going to easily see is this somebody that's trying to scam me is this somebody who's just trying to be a friend uh, you know so your profile whenever they go to it that's why you have to set up your profile your profile whenever they go to it has to be a profile that doesn't look scammy doesn't look salesy doesn't look like you know that's all you care about right so me right now my profile if somebody goes to it right they basically see that I've got this banner that I'm doing this demo software right they're like oh well whatever but then when they scroll through my feed they see I post pictures about you know sunrises sunsets moons they see other things I post so they you know maybe my and I have a <coughs> oh what is this build stand out from oh that's just some stuff from meta but if they look at my bio here they can see I'm a creative active group user software and they can see I'm kind of like a DevOps if you don't know what that is they might if they might look look it up or whatever but if they do they know that I'm kind of a technical person and then they can see my family and some of the pictures and things like that right so they know that I'm not well hopefully it doesn't look like I'm trying to scam them right and obviously this profile needs to be updated but still you know they can see I got 6,000 followers well 6.8 5,000 I'm following 5,000 whatever they can see that stuff right they can see that I've been around for a while they can see and that's what you need to do that's why you need to set up your profile right so let's get my little video myself a little bit bigger again okay so they can they can see what you're about at least some idea of it that's why it's important so as you post regularly they're going to start to see you more and more it's going to become an exposure you're going to become somebody who they notice right they'll they might like your comments more if they're nice comments to their stuff right so that's this is what the engage on other people's posts. so right so you if you post here's the thing you can post all the time and Facebook is a reciprocal algorithm and most social platforms are like that as well so what does that mean that means that if you post and you don't do anything else all you're doing is posting posting Facebook well you're going to notice that nobody sees your stuff you're going nobody's going to comment on your stuff and you're going to be like well why is it because my stuff is no good like you know this other guy he posts sunrises and he gets tons of comments why aren't my sunrises getting any comments right and so the main reason is because the algorithm is reciprocal which means that if you post and you're not engaging on anybody uh, anybody else's posts Facebook won't even show your post to anybody so nobody will see it so nobody will comment on it it's not because your post isn't isn't good it's because Facebook isn't showing it to anybody it's like if you never leave your house you know you might put a nice outfit on but if you never leave your house nobody can comment on your outfit nobody can say you look you know the, your outfit looks nice or whatever right if you don't ever go anywhere nobody's gonna see your stuff so same thing with Facebook Facebook will not show your stuff if you're not engaging other people's things so that's why you need to engage on other people's things and you need to post regularly and then you need to reply to comments and that's another super important so if you do these three things right if you do these three things attraction marketing will work for you it takes more time today than it did five years ago because there's more people on Facebook there's more people trying to do it and also the algorithms have become a little bit more um and controlled I guess well also because they want you to pay for ads right so that's why the the what this what we're talking about here is is organic right so organic isn't as efficient as paid in terms of getting your message out there because Facebook wants you to pay for ads right but it still works and it works if you do this like if I look at my profile my posts 
I posted this I got two comments let's not get that let's get my page down here so I posted this I got two comments somebody's like what is this right I was kind of asked asking what what they thought posted this sunrise I got 19 comments here posted this uh, moon I got 48 comments right and then this is a post of a last week's episode right that one I I don't get any comments right so that's because Facebook isn't showing it to anybody the only people who actually comment on this is people who actually go to my profile to see my post they actually scroll through my feed right so I posted these other ones see this one has 25 comments this one has five this one has 12 right so I post stuff and I get engagement because I'm doing the other stuff you have to be doing the other stuff you have to be doing these things you got to be posting regularly you got to be engaging on other people's posts and you got to be replying so because of the reciprocity but like I said attraction marketing is all about getting people to come to you right we want people to come to us because we're we don't want to have to reach out to people for two reasons right the main reason well the there's probably more than that but the main two reasons is because we feel that we're bugging them if we talk to them <coughs> and secondly we don't want to be talking to everybody because we know that not everybody's going to be interested so if we were to and because some leaders tell you to do that and and I'm not saying it's awful because that can work too right it's just to talk to a bunch of people talk to everybody like me I could go and I could look at my list of my followers here I don't know can I click on this oh, I guess I can click on my followers I can click on this and see who my followers are and I can send the messages every single one of them you know comment on their stuff and do things I can use this list by the way I don't I don't use that process but some leaders do teach to do that right I mean I have 6,000 followers why can't I just talk to them all right why are they following me right same thing with you why would they be following you and um and that's one thing you can do right in professional mode the number of followers includes your friends but you won't see the names and profile pictures in the followers list oh, okay I didn't I didn't know that so if I go to friends these are friends because you know this is a personal profile but it's a professional mode which means I see my friends here and I see my followers uh where's their followers here and yeah all that stuff anyways that's all whatever that's not important the point is that when you are um let's see let's go back here so when you are trying to use attraction marketing you need to be doing these three things if you're not doing these three things attraction marketing won't work you can't just do one of them you can't post regularly you if you just post Facebook won't show your stuff because of the reciprocity rule of the algorithm you can't just engage on other people's posts because people won't see your, you they, they won't know what you're about if you're not posting they won't know what you're about they won't see your stuff sure they might go to your profile and maybe because you know there's some people on Facebook that their profile has no posts or at least or almost none right and they just have a cover photo that says you know I'm a funnel builder or whatever they do right and they have their profile picture and they have their bio with a link and that's all they do they, and then they just engage on other people's posts you know so that that could work but it's not going to be as as good as attraction marketing can be because you're going to attract only people who care about what you're selling they're not gonna they're not gonna know you they're not gonna trust you they're gonna just maybe they'll buy it but you won't get a relationship out of that and that's one of the important things with attraction marketing is building a relationship with the people so that they they buy from you again be somebody who they trust and they and who they know who you care about them and you know all those other good things right so the third thing is if you just reply to comments well first of all how can you have comments if you're not posting right so you can't you know unless of course you had you know just a few posts and you posted once a year and you just replied the comments on your posts right again it's another one of those if you do it just this way you're going to limit your your results so you really have to be doing these three things the top three activities to build your audience using attraction marketing to getting people to to 
come to you and if you do this right so there's there's a couple things so first you can just get people to come to you right so you can have like me I have a a, a pink a page here the the AGU demo they can click on that to go and register for a demo by the way go ahead <clears throat> but if you're um trying to build a business you can reach out to people too the only problem with that is you don't know when you can reach out to them right I mean how do I know like when I look through my my friends list right how do I know which of these people I can actually go and engage with and send them messages or ask them questions or things like that right how do I know which one of these are the ones to talk to right and with attraction marketing you're not wanting to do that right you don't even want to talk to people you don't even want to have to do that you want them to come to you so that that does work but it takes a long long time to to do that because part of the reason people come to you is because they they're because of what's called social proof right so you need to have social proof which means having others say how awesome you are how great your product is and all those things so that they can not only just believe you but believe others are saying you are you know awesome or your product's awesome or whatever right so if if you have enough of those then people will start to just buy from you without you ever talking to them but to get to that point that's where you need to talk to people to get them to get those testimonials get those people saying things about your stuff right and uh so yeah so that's what attraction marketing is all about that's what you need to be doing what you need to be doing these three things you need to be doing and <clears throat> and yeah so if you have any questions always I'd love to hear from you let me know if you have any more questions about attraction marketing if you want me to do specific episodes if you're you, you know you want me to redo some old ones that kind of stuff that's that'd be awesome and until next time we'll see you in the next episode this has been Course Income Secrets, the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.